Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is how to go into the Zoom settings and change the settings for cloud recordings so that it doesn't record your students. It will just record the audio of what you're saying as the teacher and also what you're sharing on your screen. Okay, so you're going to go to zoom.com or zoom.us, whatever. Okay, then you go to your account and then you're going to go to uh, settings over here. You're going to click on recording. So then you should have it set to cloud recording. So let me just explain these different settings here. So what it's probably going to be on for you is record active speaker with shared screen. The reason why this doesn't work, um, so like this is for synchronous videos if you're wanting to share this with students or parents or whatever. Um, the reason why this doesn't work is because if one of your students starts talking, it's going to record them talking. So that setting is not what we want if you're wanting to send your videos out to students or parents. So I'm going to uncheck that. This record gallery view with shared screen is where you're also um, recording your shared screen, but then the gallery view of kids. So that, again, that doesn't work. So for this setting, you can record active speaker, gallery view, and shared screen separately. You can choose any ones, any of these options. So what I'm going to do is take off active speaker, so you won't be able to see the teacher in this one because there's no host only setting. You can take off gallery view, but keep it on shared screen because then that's going to record your voice and also anything that you're sharing on your screen. So there might be some periods of time where if you're just looking at your students and you're not sharing your screen where it's going to be black, but this is the best option that I've been able to see so far. But you're not done. I thought I was done before, but then I forgot you have to scroll down. And you can um, uh, uh, adjust these settings for saving chat messages and for dis displaying participants' names. I think that's probably a, um, a sensitive thing there too, so you might want to uncheck that and then click save. You have to click save, otherwise your settings won't update. So then, when you're hosting a meeting, or um, scheduling meeting, whatever, type in your meeting name. As you can see, I've been putting in some really creative meeting names here. So, Mr. Bishop's uh, um, reading meeting, I don't know. I have no creativity in my brain left, okay? Just coping here. So then schedule it for whatever time you want. And then just whatever meeting you're scheduling, you have to make sure that you click on automatically record meeting in the cloud. So then save that. And I'll just, I'll just do this. I'll just start this. Why not? So I'm going to start this meeting right now so I can show you what happens in the, uh, in the recording once we see that. Okay, so I'm going to join. Oh, it... It doesn't want to do that because it's saying that I'm using too many video cameras. We have to do this. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter anyways. Okay, this is just going to get crazy. I'm turning off this camera. Okay, so basically, um, I'm going to share my screen here. This is on Zoom, remember? And so, oh, look at my reading lesson. Oh, my erratic lesson. So reading lesson. Oh, look at my reading lesson. Okay, obviously this isn't a reading lesson, but I'm just showing you sharing my screen. So I'm going to stop share, and I'm going to go here, go away me. I'm going to end meeting. And then, to see your um, cloud recording, you got to go to zoom.com. Some of you probably already know this. Oh, I'm going to move myself over here. Go to my account. Then go to recordings. If it will ever let me do it. Yep, okay, there it is. Okay, so there it is, Mr. Bishop's reading meeting. You'll probably also get an email about this once it's done processing. Um, so yeah, right now off to the side it's saying processing recording. But basically, uh, well, I'll just wait. I will just show you really quick. Um, it will end up looking generally like this where it has two separate files, basically. It has shared screen or audio only. So once you click on share screen, it's gonna show you that video. But I wanna show you the one that I just did, just to keep it as consistent as possible. 
So we're just gonna sit here and stare at each other for a second. I'm gonna refresh because I am feeling the weight of urgency striking down upon my soul. Okay, still processing. Ah, okay, so here it is. So Mr. Bishop's reading meeting. So now I'm gonna click on these. And now I will be able to see shared screen, which I can click on. Press play. Something and you'll join. see. Oh, no, it, it, it just doesn't, doesn't want, want to do that, that because. Okay, so I'm just talking to myself, right? This is so a if I zoom zoom skip remember. forward, I'm going to so, turn off my audio here. Now you can see um, it is. Uh, okay, so the only reason, I'm sorry, the only reason why it's showing video down here is because I'm recording it as part of this screencastify but it's normally not going to show anyone in the recording there so the only reason why my face is down here is because of the screencastify recording not the zoom recording hope that makes sense anyways so that's what that's going to look like so like if you get a parent that says oh i really want to see what you shared on your screen today this is how you can do that and then what you can do is you can either download it um, and send it that way although i don't recommend that i would just do copy shareable link that just copies it, and then you can just easily paste that link, and then they'll be able to click on it, and then they'll see the video. Oh my gosh, I hope that makes sense. That was kind of a lot, but I think once you do it once or twice, then it'll just it'll make sense to you. Okay? All right. Take care. Goodbye.